we want to find identity and inverse element under binary operation so let's have a look at that uh, this is identity as well as the inverse so under binary operation sometimes you'll be asked to find the identity element of a, a, a certain group or the inverse element of what a particular member of the group right so what i mean by the group here that is the set is that okay so if you have been on this channel you know how we have been explaining or interchanging the technical name and bring it to the real life for you to see exactly how the thing looks like that's the aim of this channel so you may consider subscribing to the channel if you gain some value in the video all right let's continue now this is how the, the, the it looks like you see in every society or in every community there's a, a rule right there's a guideline that everyone has to obey as well as in every nation so what you have to obey here what you must know is that this is the equation this is how you find the identity so what i mean by that consider this this a is you right maybe you in your family right the first person you see one thing is that don't look at this thing to be a variable maybe you place them right maybe use the term maybe first person second person this is exactly works on the binary operations okay for you to see exactly what is happening right don't use a star e is equal to a sometimes you get confused whilst you are using the variable so assuming this this is you you are here right you are here in your family and then they say you operation this is the operation the operation maybe you should combine when you combine you and the identity right mostly we use e to represent the identity right and that is by default so sometimes you use e to what represent the identity so you when you combine you together with what your uh, identity then you are still the same person so what i'm using in place of the identity is just assuming that is water right so uh, when you put you well even when you combine you with water what are you going to get right maybe taking a bath or something like you or maybe dipping you into a water you are still who you are is that okay that is very very simple that was why i decided to brought a water here as well the identity element of a certain group right is that okay so you are here when i combine you with a water you are still who you are that is very very simple understanding of what identity then let's get to the uh, 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 the inverse aspect so how do you solve this so this is what we are having so the inverse also says that when i pick you the same thing you are you watching me right now and you are inverse then it must give me the identity element Let, let's see this are this inverse here is that maybe let's say your shadow is that okay your shadow you the rare person as well as your shadow when i combine you and your shadow that one gives me uh, uh let's say assuming water just for understanding people is there anybody in this world that when i combine you and your shadow then you produce water comment down below if there's a someone or you know someone that exists in this world is that okay you and your shadow give us water well, what's ahead so the for understanding people so you can see that when i combine you uh, as well as your your shadow right which is the inverse inverse of you right inverse of a in this case then that gives me what the identity so these are the two equations that you have to know before you can solve identity and the inverse uh, uh, things on that what binary operation so uh, uh, let's solve a question and see exactly how to apply this right let's solve a, a, a question to check how to apply it so i'm coming let me take this into one side so these are these are going to be the two things that we will be using right so we know that the identity element and the inverse element the sometimes works in other way around. So a operation and that should be a a a inverse. Okay, a inverse should be equal to equal to the identity identity element. So these are the two equations you have to know before you can solve the identity and the inverse issue on that binary right you just need to understand it if you don't know how binary op operation works maybe check the video down there you have a video on that whatever you explain everything to details and how to do that don't say a operation a inverse say maybe the first person and your, your your shadow right that should give me the identity that water so when i pick you this one works perfectly so when i pick you and uh, and the uh, 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 water when i combine your water you are still the same person okay 
that is how simple this thing so, so let's check on how to to deal with this thing or how to solve it in the practical field so let's check the question so i have a question here uh, this is uh, a pure past question question number 16 that says that a binary operation star is defined on the set r right so we are going to pick our members from what r right so that is the house whereby we are going to pick our members so of a rare numbers by what the first person operation the second person should give me one over two multiplied by the first person and multiplied by what the second person look at the way i'm reading this and don't say you should go by it don't go by a b and so on unless you are great mathematicians so, so okay fine if this thing makes sense fine if it doesn't make sense maybe you also should just pass the example say and move on whereby you leave everything for the advanced mathematician where they can apply the theory in what or a daily life so let's see how to solve this question all right we have been asked to find the inverse of what two under the operation is so, okay the inverse of two under the operation so this this is what they give to us to be they say when you pick the first person operation the second person that is what this is how you should combine them right this is the law the law over there say we pick the first person the second person then if you want to combine them you take one over two multiply by the first person multiply by the second person perfect we have been asked to find the uh, inverse of two right I want to find the inverse of 2. So how do you find the inverse of 2? So inverse of 2, you see, this, this, this is what you have to use. Is that okay? So assuming you are 2, right? You are 2 in the society. Your name is 2. And then your shadow. When you combine you and your shadow, that has to give us what? The identity element, which is the water here, right? But the first thing first, you, do you know the identity element? You don't know that, right? So for the inverse aspect, you have to make sure that you know the identity. Is that okay? You know you know this thing if you don't know this thing you cannot what are you going to equate this thing to so let's check that you first of all need to check the identity element first before you can proceed that is why i go for this question whereby you can solve everything in one aspect all right so let, let's check that so, so our aim is to check the identity so how do you check the identity right you know that when i combine you and water you are still who you are so that should be your starting point right this should be your starting point so quickly let's check that so i know that when i combine you and then uh, water you are still who you are is that okay now from here you proceed so the first person and the second person look at the way i'm reading it so the first person and the second person so how are they combined so they are combined by this operation being given to us right right if we don't go for a operation b then maybe here you, you start you get confused over it so the first person operation the second person so it says that they say one over two uh, of the first person operation what the second person right this is how the operation is being defined is equal to what uh still the first person is that okay it's still the first person now the first person here can you see that that's exactly what is happening what are we looking for we are looking for the identity right we are looking for the identity so we multiply here by two so they are giving me what one one a, a, a is equal to 2a right multiply by 2 multiply by 2 is that okay so this guy goes away so we are left with that but we are still looking for a so we divide everywhere by what by a and then divide here by a that gives me that e is equal to what? uh you see e is equal to 2 right this 2 is the identity element right very very simple is that okay so 2 is what uh, the identity element can you see that okay so let's go now that we find we find the e we can proceed to find the word the inverse right you need the inverse you need the inverse to find the inverse of that particular guy that they are they are asking us to find so by the definition of the inverse we know that we know that a operation your inverse should give us what the identity right is that okay so here we can we can move on we know the identity isn't it we know the identity who is this guy that's the question the guy the guy this guy here is from the question they say that you find the inverse of two so inverse what look at this this is a this is a inverse so whoever is here we are going to find your inverse right whoever is here we are going to find your inverse so who are we finding we are finding the inverse of two right star that this is what we are going to look for we are look we are looking for your shadow right we are looking for a shadow it's called to the identity what is the identity after doing our manipulation nicely we got the identity to be what two so just replace that here will give you two 
look at what is happening they say a operation a invest how are these two guys being combined in this system they are combined by the operation being given to us this is the operation they say the first person operation the second person is equal to one over two and then multiply by the first person multiply by the second person so look at what is happening we are having two and what a, a invest we want to combine these two guys they are combined by one over two right multiply by the first person which is two and then multiply by the second person which is what a invest right this is equal to two is that okay you can see this guy and that guy goes away so a inverse is equal to two right so a inverse is exactly equal to two right can you see that that is very very simple so this is how you solve for this this problem is that okay this is how you solve it they say you should find the inverse of two that is exactly what you find Right, so the inverse of two is what you have to answer the equation, right? The inverse inverse of what? The inverse of what two two the inverse of what two is is what two, right? So that is how you find the inverse and the identity element. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or maybe if you have any question, just comment down below. We will attend to you. Thanks for watching.